Eyes Union Part 2 aired last night. I watched, did you all watch? I wasn't really, it wasn't as interesting as Part 1, even though it still held my attention up until we talked about Eva and then her storyline with the baby father. You know, Eva, like, I, I, you replace Cynthia to me. Because for years, I was like, fire Cynthia, get rid of Cynthia. But now, I like Cynthia. And now I want them to get rid of you. You are just not as interesting on the show. Like, I like you as a person. I think that you have a wonderful, beautiful family. But you're just not as interesting on the show. We need you to go. You replace Cynthia. I like Cynthia. I like. I want Cynthia to stay on the show where I want you now to leave. You, yeah, do you guys agree with me? Like, do you all, like, want Eva to leave? I want you all to vote above. Vote above if you want her to leave. I think you should leave. Like, I don't really think that you fit well with the show. You throw good shade, but then... Sometimes, or not sometimes, many times you don't remember what you said and then it looks like you're just lying. So, uh, no, G goodbye, goodbye, we don't need you anymore. You know, it's interesting and I didn't really care for the storyline about your baby father because I don't know who your baby father is. I, I really don't even know your child. Like, I've never seen any of your children on the show. So, I, when you start crying about your baby father, I was like, yawn, boring. You know, I, I went to use the bathroom. I think I went to go take my dog out. Um, and then when I came back from walking my dog, you still were talking about it. So then I went to go get some food. I went to use the bathroom. I'm like, my God. So then when I saw that you left, uh, the, your, uh, when you like walked away, I was like, God, she's leaving the reunion because I honestly did not care for the storyline at all. <laughs> I'm sending you a big hug. Thank you. Yeah, I need a second. <laughs> they talking about him. He's <laughs> Oh, I was by the end of these women. I hate to talk to you about him. But that's how I feel. I just, Eva's just is so boring to me. Like, I just don't understand. Like, she's upset. I hate talking about this guy. So don't talk about him. Just shut your mouth. When Andy asks you about your baby father, say, you know what, Andy? I don't want to talk about him. I know you guys want me to leave the show, so I'm just going to get up and go. That's what you should have said. I'm going to leave the show, so I'm just going to get up and close my camera like what NeNe Leakes did at the end of the episode. You should have just closed your camera and just walked away for the remainder of the reunion. And for next season and the season after, just don't, just don't come back. Be gone, Eva. You and your daughter, be gone. But I do like Cynthia on the show. I know people always say that she's boring, but I kind of like her. Like, I think I think I started liking her maybe, like, last season. Um, and now there are rumors that she's leaving, which she denied those rumors. She is coming back for season um, 13, whatever next season is. Season 13, 15, 20, whatever next season is. She is returning next se season because, you know, she, she's going to want her wedding on TV. So that's the only reason why she's coming back next season. And even though I don't think she's leaving living in Atlanta anymore. So maybe, Cynthia, ask Eva what where she was living for the first two seasons because we all know she didn't have a house the first two seasons so Cynthia ask her what hotel or what tent she's sleeping in and then you can return for next season and then after you get married you can just leave the show and move to LA and join the OC or Beverly Hills Housewives all right even though because you know Cynthia's like oh like you know even though she's black she can fit in with the white women you know Cynthia is not really like she's not like black black I might get in trouble for saying let me not go deep in that. I don't want to be getting in trouble with my black community. But I think that you all want to see, like, like I can't see Cynthia joining Love and Hip Hop, but I can see her joining Beverly Hills. Even though I don't want to count her money, but I don't know if she's wealthy enough to join the show. Even though they had Brandy Glanville on the show, she was pretty much the poorest one. So Cynthia, you could fit in with Beverly Hills. Part two opened up a Portia having this bad text messages from Kenya about Cynthia and you know if you watch last if you watch part one we left with part one with Portia saying that she had this text message from Kenya talking about Cynthia dogging her out talking about her badly so in part two Portia sent the text messages to Andy and it wasn't really a bad text message Portia Kenya basically told Portia that she wished Cynthia had her back in the situation, whatever situation what that was going on. She just wished Cynthia had her back more. I was texting with Kenya like, damn, did you see the show? Like, damn, Eva was disgusting. Did you hear the thing she was saying? Like, this is what she does. Say sh and forget it. And mm -hmm. Kenya said to me, mm -hmm. oh, hell That's yeah, right. I saw everything she said. And I wish that Cynthia would have done what you did, which was take up for me as her friend. So you were upset and you were venting yes. about, about Cynthia and saying so how is that you don't want to Eva. Oh, because when we talked on the phone, you said
said you were gonna get her, her day was going to come. I don't, I've never talked to you on the phone. That was it, Portia. It wasn't, Kenya wasn't dogging her out. And I, and I didn't believe that Portia had a text message from Kenya dogging out Cynthia. Cause I, can, I think that Kenya really, really do, I think she really does love Cynthia. And I can't really see Kenya, oh, it's fitting. I can't really see Cindy, Kenya talking about Cynthia. Are you guys following me? I'm like going here, ding, 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 ding. Follow along, people. If you didn't see part two, then don't watch my video because I'm just going to be going all over the place, all right? So if you guys still didn't see the part two reunion, you can go to bkworldtube.com and they have all the episodes from this season and part one reunion and they have part two as well. So go to the website and watch it if you have not seen the reunion yet. The evidence that you have, Portia, it was wickety wickety whack. Just like Eva. But Andy did go in on Kenya. We talked about her trifling ways this past season. You know, I don't like you, Kenya. I can't get down with you. I don't understand you. I never did like you. Never did. Um, and I, I will say this. When your time comes to when you're going to die, I do believe that you're going to go to hell. I don't think that there is not one chance that you're going to go to heaven. You are just, something is really wrong with you. I don't know what it is. I don't know if because it's because you don't never had a mother. I don't know if it's because you never had a guy who loved you. I don't know. Is, is it because, I, I don't know what it is, but something is really evil about you. I just never liked you. I never did like you. And I know that, like, my, I remember I did a season 10 review um, on the Atlanta Housewives, and I made a comment about her eggs, and I got so much backlash from people on my YouTube channel. Like, people were, like, saying, cancel you, we're never going to watch your video again, because I made this one joke about her eggs. This is what I don't like about Kenya. Just like her eggs, her reads aren't really that good either. And I feel like her reads are really, really weak. And I feel like Kenya's reads could be a lot better, and I kind of get embarrassed by some things that she says. But this reunion... Your reads are on point. After that, I think when I realized what I said wasn't funny, it was mean, I felt bad, but I never did really publicly say, you know, that wasn't really nice of me to say. And then when I saw Nene say it this past season, I got like, cringe. I was like, ooh, that wasn't cool, Nene, for you to say. But now, you know, I don't really care now. I don't really care because you're just not loved. You're just not loved at all. Like, I think you deserve my comment. You deserve Nini's comment, you deserve every mean comment that you get because you are, you, what you, you get what you give. All right, you ever heard that expression before? You get what you give. And so I don't feel bad for you, Kenya. I really don't. What you did to Tanya was not cool because she, she called you out for wearing a wig. So you brought this woman who was supposedly sending Salace's text messages to her husband. You brought her to meet her in person on camera. Like if you really was that concerned about Tanya's uh, marriage, you should have said, hey, can't, Tanya, let me talk to you off camera. Let me have a conversation with you off camera, not around the group, but you want to be messy. You want to bring someone like, and then the bitch brought cookies to this meeting. Not cool. You and that cookie lady, not cool. It wasn't funny, it's not cute, it's not even shady. It is plain, it's just plain rude. You'll never get respect from me, Kenya. Ever, ever. I do not like you. And I don't like you either, Heeny. I don't like you either. But I, I feel like I will actually be on Heeny's side more than your side, Kenya. I can't believe I just said that. I'm taking up for Nini, Nathaniel. Ugh. But no, I just, I really don't like you. So her and Tanya went back and forth about the cookie situation. And I'm on Tanya's side. You know, you should have this, you you were really trying to reach somewhere. Like Tanya said, you were trying to shoot her, but you shot a blank. I think that you really want to like trigger something into uh, Tanya. And it, it just wasn't working, Kenya. It just wasn't working. You two went at it. And then her and Marla went at it in part two reunion. And I'm, and I never brought this up either with your Kenya Moore hair care. When you crashed Marla's event, I didn't think that was funny or cute. I never brought this up in any of my past reviews because I didn't think it was funny or cute that you did that. Why show up to her event if you're just going to be like messy and shady? Like why show up to her event with marching bands and shit like that? It wasn't funny. It just, it was just like, it's, when I saw it, I was like, I just rolled my eyes. I was like, really? This is what you're going to do? Really? You know, you think everything is so funny all the time and it's fun being shady. Well, that's the reason why God is having a life like you in your life right now. What's that, baby Brooklyn? You don't know where your daddy's at? Oh, I don't feel bad for you, Kenya. I really don't. But you know what the highlight of this reunion was? Candy versus Nathaniel. I'm embedded in your motherfucking brain, bitch. <laughs> I'm embedded in your 
your motherfucking brain, bitch. This is the best quote that's gonna come from this. Actually, no, this is the second best quote because the first best quote was, uh, your titties are uh, social distancing when Portia does an Eva. So, Candy, you get the second best quote. I'm embedded in your motherfucking brain, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much, this is what Nini had made, like an Instagram video or a YouTube video, and I did see it two months ago when she made it. She pretty much was saying that one person keeps getting all these spinoffs and stuff like that and she doesn't know why and I honestly thought that she was talking about Kim Zosiak but then I'm thinking like Kim only got one spinoff so then I was like okay she clearly is talking about Candy and so Andy had brought it up and Candy I guess so if you don't know Candy is pretty much gonna get her own show about her restaurant you know how Lisa Vanderpump has Vanderpump rules so that's what Candy is gonna have at her restaurant something similar to that about her staff members at um What's the restaurant called again? The Sugar Cat Factory? No. For whatever her restaurant's called, she's going to have um, a show about her staff members, similar to Vanderpump Rules. So Nene was saying, I don't understand why this one person keeps having these spinoffs. And Nene, pretty much at the end, of, you're hating on her. You're just hating. Because Nene wanted that for her. She wanted a spinoff about her store, uh, Swag, in D.C. So, but the production, what happened? Fuck. I, I remember reading an article about it. She she was in D.C. a lot because she was trying to get her staff members to have this show like Band of Pop Rules, but production was not interested in the Nini storyline. They were more interested in Candy's store or Candy's restaurant storyline. Are you guys following me? So Nini was just hating on Candy. Do I think that Candy show will be successful? No. Like her other spinoffs, they all are boring. Like, I, I have not watched one spinoff from Candy. Remember she had that singing competition? I think it was, um, remember she had, like, I don't know if you guys remember, she had, after she made Don't Be Tardy for the party for Kim Zosiak, Bravo gave her, like, a singer where she helped these people, these nobodies, and she gave them a song to sing, and then you pick which song was the best, but that got canceled. Candy's Wedding, never watched that. It would look boring to me. Candy's Skis Trip, never watched that. It looked boring to me. And Candy had another one. I didn't watch it. All her spinoffs are boring. I'm sorry, Candy, I like you, but you are, I don't understand how you got a spinoff because you're not really that, all that interesting. To be honest with you, I have not watched not one spinoff from any of these ladies. I never watched Nini spinoffs. I never watched Portia's little baby spinoff. I never seen Kim Zolciak's show. I never seen Bethany, Bethany Frankel's show. Who else has a spinoff? Vanderpump Rules, never seen that show either. They're not interesting. If you're not filming with the other ladies, I don't, I, not any of these women deserve a spinoff because none of them are interesting alone outside of their group. None of them, right? Is anyone, I, I, I wouldn't watch anybody. Yeah, because none of them are really interesting. The only way I would watch if it was two housewives doing something similar to what Paris and Nicole Richie did on The Simple Life. Like uh, Nene and Kim, remember when they were going to have a spinoff a couple years ago? I want to watch that for like an episode or two, see how I feel about it. But yeah, none of them are really interesting to have a spinoff show. My opinion. Maybe Candy Show will be good with their staff members. I don't know. I will give it an episode or two, but I don't have high hope for it. Oh my god, so wait, oh my god, so yesterday was Candy's birthday, by the way, happy birthday, Candy. So, did y'all see what Nini had posted on her Instagram page? Nini, being the petty old woman that she is, decided to give Candy a birthday shout out, and you think, you would think it was nice, but it really wasn't. This is what Nini posted yesterday on her Instagram page, wishing Candy a happy birthday. It reads, I will not let the fake beef you made up to stop me from wishing you a happy birthday and posting my favorite picture of us, Candy. Everybody go wish Candy a happy birthday, then tune in to watch the show. Uh, oh no, tune in to watch Candy have the fakest want some smoked beef with Nene segment at 8 p.m. tonight on Bravo. Then her hashtag says, fun shade right, Mr. Oh, Mrs. Atlanta, forgettable Candy Man. Like, really? Who does that for someone's birthday? It's so unnecessary. It's so, so, so fucking unnecessary to me. Like, you are, if you have nothing nice to say, what's the, what's the saying, everybody? Don't say nothing at all. So why wish someone a happy birthday if you're not getting, if you're not cool with them? So in retaliation, Candy had posted a video of Nene singing her song. It says, what I need from you is some understanding. This is cute throwback video. Look, love how you were singing my song, Nene, and thank you for the birthday wishes today. Much love from Mrs. Unforgettable. Nene, you are just so, I just honestly don't I know how you can be so rude on someone's birthday. It just, why did you have to say something? If you're going you to be shady, why wish someone a happy birthday? Like, just shut up sometimes. Shut up. Like, that's why I don't like you. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, and then, oh, oh my God. So then Candy had a birthday party yesterday. Side note, this is not even from the reunion. So Candy had a birthday party yesterday. And so many people were upset that she had this birthday party with people not wearing a mask. And you're supposed to be quarantined. COVID's happening. How could you be show, show? Shut 
up. Like, for, we're three months in this whole quarantine shit, all right? We all are sick of being sick and tired of staying at home, not being, our, can't go hang out with our friends. So I understand why Candy had a birthday party with her friends. I mean, the, the theme was mask on, and there are video footages of people not wearing a mask, and Candy wasn't wearing a mask. They, they're all grown. They know the risks that they're taking. We are tired of being in the house alone and not being able, being able to social. So I, I understand why she had a birthday party, and I, and, and I understand why people went to the party. I would have did the same thing. Hell, I just went to a barbecue the other day, and I had people over two weeks ago. Like, I'm just, I could see if she had a birthday party the first week that this COVID shit happened. I could see that because it's like, well, you're never taking this seriously. But we are in our third month. We are tired of being in the house. We are tired of not being able to go to bars and hang out with our friends. And, but on top of that, Georgia, the state of Georgia is open. All right, everything is open in Georgia. The nail salons, barber shops, everything is open. The bars, restaurants, and I don't know if they have to wear a mask because in, um, in New York State, if you guys don't know, I live in the state of New York. And here, we have to wear a mask when we go to the stores. And I know that some states don't require you to wear a mask, so I'm not sure if the state of Georgia even requires people to wear a mask. But they all are grown. They know the risk that they're taking. Get off of Candy's jocks. I, I hate when people make little, little small little deals into a bigger deal. Mind your business. Y'all just mad that y'all wasn't invited to a damn party. I mean, I, I, and I know that I shouldn't be hanging out with people, but at the same time, I'm bored. It's just me and my dog here. I'm bored in the house alone. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever. You're grown. We all are grown. We know the worst we're taking. Mind your business, huh? So back to the reunion. So yeah, Candy and Nene went back and forth at it. You know, Candy was just like, I'm embedded in your motherfucking brain, bitch. You keep talking about me. You were singing my songs. And Nene was like saying, think about the lunchbox. Think about the lunchbox. You know, even though I don't like Nene, she does make me laugh a lot of times. <laughs> oh, on that particular thing she had posted, she says on there, I don't know why I don't got no show. I mean, they just seem to keep giving the same person the show the season after season. Well, at the time you said it, they just started production on my new show, bitch. It would either be you or Kim Beerman. So it's you. Girl, bye. Bye, bye bitch. Forget That's about. all you can bye, say is bye. But you bye, can't stop okay. seeing me, bitch, because I'm right. everywhere, you bitch. You I'm everywhere. Candy. And you're going to continue to see me. Okay. You've been knowing me since you're before I got here, bitch. You've been singing my songs, bitch. You got you on here singing my songs. Tomorrow. They will forget about you and your outfit. You've been knowing me. You're going to keep knowing me. I'm embedded in your brain, bitch. I'm embedded in your motherfucking brain, bitch. Bye, girl. Bye. Who side are you on with the Nene and Candy fight? Vote above. I'm on Candy's side, all right? Don't be a hater, Nene. Don't be a hater. So after that, we see Nene close her laptop and walk away. And when she closed her laptop, I don't know if you guys saw the little notepad that she has, but she pretty much was, she had her reads already rehearsed and written down. So all she had to do was like look down at her notepad and read the reads. So phony, my goodness. So today, um, she uploaded something to her Instagram page. Someone had to send it to me because Nene has me blocked for whatever reason. I never went on this woman's page a day in my life. And then the day that I went to go look on her page, it said, this person has you blocked or whatever it says. I don't know what it says, but yeah. So she put, it only felt right to personally remove myself from the reunion. So much had happened this season. The cookie lady, Mark and Kenya's fake marriage, Dennis accusations, snake gate, and much more. But drilling me on subjects, muted me, flashing back to things that happened on that happened since the show was wrapped, like my relationship with Wendy while in quarantine. Why didn't they ask Candy's restaurant shooting? Wait, why didn't they ask Candy about restaurant shooting? What? She needs. She did. That doesn't make sense. Then if what? That's what we were doing. I don't know what that means. Interviews I've done since we wrapped the show that has nothing to do with the show. After deciding that apologizing for certain things was only right, that wasn't genuine enough. Starting over with little sis Portia, which I don't understand why Portia, you're friends with her again, was made fun of. And here they go, bringing to someone on the reunion that I was personally told by executives wasn't allowed on set anymore. Oh, she's talking about Tanya. I mean, uh, Giovanna. All this and so much more felt like the rules only applied to me and that I was being held to a different standard, stand, standard than others, but you continue to be the judge. Nene, quit the show. That's what it sounds like. You're complaining about your co-workers or co you're complaining about your bosses. Quit the show. I mean, I, I quit the show. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of you. You had to know that Yavanna was coming back on the reunion. You had, she was so much part of the show. Why wouldn't they ask her to be on, on the reunion? Right? 
Honestly, I, I just don't understand. You talked so much stuff before they filmed this reunion. You were making videos saying, all oh, these ladies need to get their shade ready because I'm going to be giving them shade. There is hell to pay. It's hell to pay. So when they brought the shade to you, you, you leave? Really, Nene? She's too old for this. She is way too old. You need to quit the show. You know what? On top of that, you're, Cynthia is the oldest one. And I honestly thought you were Nene. Like, I, I thought you were close. I thought, honestly, Nene, you were 55 years old. I didn't know that you're younger than Cynthia. Had no idea. I think Nene's like 51 or 52. Had no idea that you were younger than Cynthia. I always thought that you're, I always thought you were older than her. I personally believe Nene should leave the show. I do. Her and Kenya can go, but if they go, then next season and the seasons after would be a doll. So I guess we do need them, unfortunately. Ugh. So next Sunday is part three, the conclusion to this virtual reunion. And Yovana is back on the show. I don't like her, but I think that we all, as viewers, we have some questions that we need answers to. So I am kind of looking forward to seeing this little snake, what she has to say and everything. All right, guys, so The Real House of Atlanta Part 3 airs this Sunday at 8, 7 Central on Bravo. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Down below in the description area under More Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information, so go ahead and follow me, guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video request that you have. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Bye, guys. <laughs> Like this. I might put some